It's time to do an oil change on a 2018 Infiniti QX80. And I just got myself some ramps from Harbor Freight Tools. So let's take a look at them and see if I'm going to die. So these are the Pittsburgh plastic ramps for the car. Rated for 13,000 pound uh, capacity, 6,500 uh, for each of the ramps. They also sell a metal set, but it's got half the uh, total capacity that these do. So let's open them up and see what they look like. get a pair obviously and they have some good heft to them this uh, torsion box design is probably what gives the ramps uh, their strength they have feet here and here as well as up top here probably help Keep it from sliding. It's got a half-assed diamond plate grip front on it. And let's check out and see what the height is on them. If I remember correctly, it's about a six inch lift. Six and a half inches thereabouts and to the stop at the top it's about eight and a half inches so that's good it's a nice big uh, stop for when your wheel comes up you know you're near the end then and uh, a lot of the ramps that I've seen they have a much smaller uh, lip at the edge the width on the tire is about nine and a half inches so that's a good size uh, width on it. As I said, it's sturdily constructed. Comes with a uh, set of instructions on the side. It says maximum allowable tire width is 12 inches. So I guess you can have some overhang on it. That seems pretty dicey as hell to me because it's an 11, 11 inch width from edge to edge. The interior width is nine and a half, but edge to edge is 11. So it's saying you can overhang a half inch on either side and still be good. Let's take a look and see what my tire is. So looking at the tire width. It looks like we're right at about. Uh, let's get in here. It's about nine inches or so. So we'll be pulling in right at like the interior width of that uh, ramp. And let's get it set up and drive up on it and see what happens. Let's get two handholds here. I guess that's what they are. You want to take your ramp place it right underneath the tire centered underneath there so that you can drive straight up and you can do the same thing on the other side now, as I said those rubber feet are intended to keep it from sliding so we'll see how well that actually works and now you want to get in and slowly ride up the ramp.
it's holding. No creaking. Didn't slide at all. Not that I felt. It gives a lot of clearance here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but underneath the uh, dam here, it's almost 14 inches of height. So that should be some good clearance to get under there. Now, I won't trust, even if they were metal or whatever, I wouldn't trust uh, the plastic uh, ramps all by themselves. I'll be putting some jacks underneath just in the event these do uh, collapse. Uh, but now I've got plenty of room to slide underneath and do my oil change under here. They don't recommend doing body work and things like that uh, with these uh, ramps. But doing an oil change, these are perfect for that. And like I said, it lifts it off the ground. Nice. But after I get the uh, oil change done on this, I've got a uh, Infinity G37 as well. Now that's got a very low uh, ride on it. So I'm going to see if these will work, allowing it to get up onto the ramps without scraping the wind dam. I should also note that I have the uh, emergency brake on, on the truck, and I've got these metal wheel chucks that I'll throw behind the rear tires to help prevent it from slipping off and rolling backwards. With the oil change done, take the jack stand out. Remove the wheel chuck. And now we can drive it down the ramp. So they did quite good. I rather like it. Nice that they uh, held up well. oil change on the infinity it wasn't quite as smooth as these uh, uh, ramps but I'd say uh, they're a, a, a good quality uh, product now the one thing I live here in New Jersey in uh, Northeast so we get some really cold winters and some really hot summers so it's gonna take some time to see how they hold up in like really uh, high heat since plastic can become soft in the heat and in the cold obviously plastic gets brittle so we'll have to keep an eye on it uh, during those conditions but right now I'd say it's a uh, a good product and well worth it uh, they were $45 at uh, Harbor Freight, and I had a 20% off coupon, so I got them for like 36 bucks, I think. Uh, the, what is it, the Rhino Ramps, they're uh, about 50, 60 bucks, I think. You know, they're about $60, and uh, I've heard about some failures on them. I mean, I guess this could fail too. Uh, I don't know that it's just because it's the Rhino Ramp that it, you know, it failed, you know, it being a plastic one too, but these uh look good obviously keep an eye on them each time you use them make sure there's no uh, cracks or anything like that listen for sounds when you're underneath use safety precautions like jack stands and uh, wheel chocks your emergency brake all of that but i recommend them on the uh, first uh, uh go round with them they certainly uh were well worth the money this is the product number on it, 63956. So Cisco and Ebert, give it two thumbs up. While it's low, it looks like it should 
just make it. So let's see. so it's damn near impossible to see from in the car but <laughs> when you're trying to drive up the ramp but yeah it uh went up without any problems and now gives me lots of clearance underneath to get and do this oil change for this g37 which is always a pain in the neck okay thanks for watching